Hey guys, welcome back to another live video. So as you can tell by the title, we're doing another card versus, and today we're looking at... Seven tools. Versus... A wiretap. Alright, so... Uh, begin, start the fight. Begin, start the fight? Yeah, begin, start the fight. Argue your 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 choice. Alright, I'm going to be on wiretap side on this one. Do you want to take seven tools? Yeah, I'll take seven tools. Alright, so with wiretap... Just as Dyson... Uh, what is it? DP Yu-Gi-Oh, the Sound of Sigma. Whatever the hell he keeps on changing. Yeah, I know. I don't know why he keeps Andrew changing. Andrew Ticket. <laughs> right. He he made a funny video with this, you know, bouncing something back to the deck, and then you know both players shuffling, and then hopefully you don't draw that shit. <laughs> you draw that shit, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> All right. But wiretap has a lot of potential. To be, uh, why it, I think it's better than some tools. Yeah, this doesn't destroy it, but the thing is, it chucks it back to the deck. That minus is one off your opponent's field anyways. They yeah, have to draw that out. again and reset it. And if and if you hit warning with this, okay, great. They already paid their 2,000. The card goes back. If you Divine Wrath, if you counter a Divine Wrath, well, they just discarded for no reason. So they're discarding two cards for the price of one. And the Seven Tools does the same exact thing. Well, Seven Tools doesn't force the... Well, the Seven Tools, yeah, it negates, but it doesn't make them recycle the card. Mm -hmm. Like, it, yeah, you stop, you pay your thousand to stop their warning. Great, the warning's gone. It's not going to play it again. Well, this bounces it back to the deck. I think that's the, that's the reason with... I, why? The reason why I like Seven Tools is that at least the card is gone. At least the card is out of mind, out of sight. It's in the grave. But, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You know, the last thing I want to do is wire tap like a bottomless. And then they draw shuffle that shit back in, draw that shit, and get hit with the bottom once again. Because essentially, if that happens, then you just negged one because you didn't resolve the problem that wiretap was supposed to resolve. But see, the thing with wiretap, though, over seven tools is there's that thousand life points to a free cost. You know, and, then, and it's understandable. I, I, and they both have their ups and downs. Like there is no, they're pretty much even. But on the wiretap side of it, that thousand life points in this day and age, that thousand life points, that's a big difference. Like if soul charge did not exist. I, I would be hands down. Hell yeah, go with the, fuck the life points. No one gives a shit about life points. Now since soul charge is a thing, you gotta keep in consideration your life points so you can play your soul charge. You gotta keep in consideration your opponent's life points. You don't wanna upstart and give them 3,000 life points and then all of a sudden they chill charge. Yeah, so I Definitely soul charge has been, you know, wavering in people's mind when it comes to life points and that's why I think uh, wiretap has been more in favor of the seven tools is because that thousand life points, that could be a uh, monster that you can summon back with soul charge. That's one monster, you know? So, you know, more people are going to go with wiretap. But like I said, it really depends on what you hit with wiretap. You know, if you're going to hit a warning, you hit warning with a wiretap, they pay 2,000, they shovel back in, they draw the 2,000, maybe later in the game, they want, might not have the 2,000, that would be awesome. But you just got to, you know, use it at the correct time. Last thing you want to do is wiretap like a bottomless or a compulse. Then they're just going to, well, and they get reused that because those cards are active whenever. That doesn't cost anything. So really, you know. You have to I, be smart with wiretap, though. You can't just be, be like, bullshit wiretap. Yeah. You, know. you have to play it right. If it's going to ensure you that game change, you know, that especially get, change the, the game in your favor, by all means, wiretap. If you're just doing it to the, for the walls, you're being stupid. Yeah. It's like the same thing with Seven Tools. Yeah, if you pay the thousand and knock something, like asinine trap card by all means you just waste the seven tools usually I see people with seven tools on torrential tribute or mirror force or something that's gonna hurt them especially OTK decks they love seven tools or wiretaps now mm -hmm. actually they're teching it they're playing wiretaps over seven tools because it's free it gets it'll save the problem for later and by then it wouldn't matter it's just and the thing about between destroying it to throwing it back in the deck you're shuffling one card back in the deck which could have changed could change the whole gameplay yeah that of is. what your opponent draws that is true, you know. They can't shuffle the deck, you know. They, they, they can change the whole format of what they draw. Shut up, Fonzo. Stop sneezing. You're in the whole entire video <laughs> with your damn sneezing, Fonzo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, it's, it teaches their own. They're both still really good cards. You know, don't, don't you know, underestimate either one of these cards. They're great. They're counter trap cards that block other trap cards, you know. And it doesn't even have to be a counter trap. Stupid counter counter. Such a stupid card. <laughs> And they messed that up, and they they printed counter count. Did you see that misprint of counter counter? No. The first time they printed counter counter, it wasn't a counter trap. It was a normal trap. It was a normal trap card, and it said that it can negate a counter trap card. <laughs> yeah, I have a copy of this. Like, this is stupid. You can't do that. What? Yep. Crap is that? <laughs> and they had to reprint it. <laughs> 
So, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and comment and tell me your opinion. Which one do you prefer, wiretap or 7-tool? So, do you rather, you know, at no cost deal with the problem later or with a little bit of a cost handle the situation now? You know, the choice is yours. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all support. And we'll see you guys next time with another live video. Thanks for watching.